back to another episode of Girl Castle. Now this might be different from the last episode, as then yes. I did leave it on for a little while, not long, like two hours, I think, after the last episode I recorded. Yeah, after the first episode, technically. But yeah, I left it on like a couple of hours. As you can see, I have, I have 24 of these. Yeah, I got 200,000 to get this guy in the night. Got the 50 times, and then I got the 10 times, because I had 60, and that was the max, so, yeah. Yay, market price of today. And that's going to change. So. Oh, well. And, okay, so, I'm going to change that guy back to gold, because, kind of, if I look in my inventory... I have 87 of these. <laughs> Using for upgrading workers, earn, kill boss monsters. And then I have 363 of these, which honestly doesn't even matter this early on, but I want to go ahead and get them. And as you can see, I'm level 38. From last episode, I've leveled up 26 times. So last episode, I was level 12. And yeah, I didn't upgrade any stats besides. Oh, I didn't upgrade anything. Just because uh, I just lived on for like a couple hours and then. Yeah. So let me go ahead and max out that. And let me get that to 10. Damage. Attack speed, MP. Critical chance, summon unit damage. Castle wall defense, and cooldown. You know what? I'll just get extra gold for you now because, yeah. As you can see, I got another two of these towers because last time I think I only had two. I didn't even have this guy, I don't think. I upgraded my things and now I have all three of these and I have this, which is these, which are expensive. Yeah. I got these both to level 21, which is one level over the entire one set. Because my archer has arrows here, but none of the others do. So yeah, that's cool, I guess. But now, sorry guys, but um, yeah, now we're gonna be doing this to hopefully get some more. Because honestly, if I did leave this on all night. And I just left the auto clicker on. Yeah. I probably have about 400,000 gold. And I'd probably be like level 60. Just because it's been about like 15 hours since I made the previous video. And yeah. 15 hours, say about a minute or two per board, getting about 600 gold, 700 gold per board. Yeah, I would probably have 400 grand. And this is. Sorry for the shifting of the thing. This is taking forever. And destroy. And yay! I'm getting it down faster. As everything dies. This isn't even on times two speed. No wonder it was so slow. On oh, our mana. Oh well, whenever this person attacks, they give me mana back, so. Aw, oh, I don't have enough mana. How much mana is it? Oh, there we go. Ah. The Ice Tower, the Lightning Tower, the Fire Tower, and the Worm are doing pretty good so far for defense. I have upgraded the Fire Tower, but that's just to make the board level 15 to go by faster last night. But yeah, that's about it. That's all I've done off cam, at least. Oh gosh, I'm about to lose. 
And at least I was able to get that out, so I defend. Yay! Defend! And I got cheated. So that shows you how well, how crappy my defense is for him. And now this is the 70 waves so I can get more heroes. Now this is where you need to be a bit conservative on stuff. Now as you can see I'm not just spamming on my abilities. I'm actually going to wait as best as I can. Until something like this happens to where they just instantly... Okay so I can't do none of them for now so... Yay! That's the wave skip thing. So, and now I'm just gonna leave my auto clicker on. So it automatically clicks for me every like few seconds. <laughs> so as soon as the thing finishes, it ends the fight, and then I can skip the five waves. If victory skips five waves. Now, if I still had 60, because I sat there and actually waited until I got 60 more again, then this would go by very fast. Because I'd just get fast waves. But, honestly, it's really useless to skip past waves. Unless you're later on. Because I don't think it gives you extra gold for skipping past the waves. So, it's kind of just... Yeah, if you're stuck on one wave and you know that you can barely beat it, then you would skip it. But, that's if you so choose to. I don't like the skipping function. Early game at least. Late game, I could see how good it is. Because it's just like if you want to get high in levels and your defense is maxed completely out. Best towers, best everything. Yeah, I could see you just sitting there like, okay, skip 20 waves, skip 20 waves, skip 20 waves. But, uh, you would run out of gems pretty quickly unless you paid for them. Because 20 waves is like 15 to 20 gems, and that's 60 at maximum, so that's three times you can do it. Three times at least. So. Yay. All I'm doing is skipping past levels for now, so I can get some gold and then upgrade some stuff. But yeah, that's basically all I did last night, as I sat there and auto clicked the replay button and made sure I didn't lose, which took like little to no effort. <laughs> Ooh, cool, 6600. I'm just going to close that. Yeah. And, okay, so um, I guess I can go to hell <laughs> now. Yay! Infinite wave? Oh. So it's literally just a battle. Oh, uh, okay, flying skeleton minions. Uh, let's just test my damage, I'm guessing. Hey, I'm I'm fine with it. It gives me a lot of gold. <laughs> I'll take it. And also, this is another way to where you can spend all your gemstones. Well, that's cool. I did about 5,300. Wow, that number's so low. <laughs> so, hmm... I wonder when I'm going to be able to verse the dragon. And now... Oh yeah, I got the flame tower to level 15. And now, I have a spiky penis on my team. Okay, um, here's some Chinese-Japanese language that I don't preferably speak. <laughs> but yeah, oh, fast, slash... 30. And now if I look at this guy, he's fast and he does 22 damage. 
And that's at level 1. Now, as you can see, there's your promotion. At level 6, you get this, and at level 31, you get this. This is Death Worm 2, increases damage. This is Death Worm 1, it increases damage. That's just normal worm. Now, I can scroll. No, I did not mean to do that. I, I'm just trying to use scroll wheel. It's easier to just click. I can't promote this guy for now. But this guy is better, because he does splash damage. So that's going to help a lot. And... Hmm... Promotion. At level 6, this becomes the... So cool, you could actually see if you can promote something, and then you can see what level you promote. Level 6, this gets to the Burning Tower, which takes 10 gems. I forgot it cost gems to promote. Promote. Promotion. Promotion. At level 31, it's... And I get the Flame Tower 2. And, yeah. So that's all I've been doing for now. And, I guess, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna wave the wave. Uh, oops. <laughs> well, there's my bad. I switched the thorny penis. With the fire tower. So now I only, I only have three towers. Great. Yeah, I don't give a crap about you. Oh gosh, I forgot to head on the click around. Equip. I'll click down here. See how faster that, how much faster that is. Now let's try that hell again. Yay. The splash damage is helping a lot. <laughs> wow, I already have like 3,000 damage. That number is just going up. Cool. I have no clue what this does, but I guess it gets to show how much damage I can do, how quickly I can do this damage. I guess that's pretty good considering I can get 10k before, or well, 12k almost before I die. Well, I got exactly 12k. Cool. So, um, yeah, I, I'll look into what this does later, considering I have no clue what it does now, because I never really looked for it. And I upgraded that by one, so I have to upgrade that by one now. Like, even. <laughs> uh. Now I could try. The splash damage should help a lot. Is that seriously him just shooting those spikes out of the ground in a row? Wow. I've never actually used this guy before, unless they just changed his animation. But still, that's really cool. I just want some damage in on their face. Which seems to be losing health pretty fast. And summon these guys. Summon spikes. Make sure they don't get my defense. Barrage of arrows. The face is salt. Really did hinder them a lot. Yay! So, this is gonna be a pain. See how fast their health is going down? Nothing's attacking them. Wow! So rude. Back off. Barrage of arrows. Summon these guys. Uh. 
Oh, I didn't even notice that I was out of mana. Yay. At least the splash damage helps a lot. Especially for now, considering they're like so clumped up. Even in the late game, they still stay clumped up. So, splash damage is what you need all the time. But considering you can't promote this guy, yeah. I would say it's just easier to sit there and get the other one and promote it so it does more damage. And then it will outdo the damage this does. But, eh, you could have both of them. That would be a little odd. But, the Freeze Tower. And I, okay, evidently I missed. No, I didn't miss. Barrage of arrows. And I beat it. Develop. And see, that's level 10. Uh, requires 300 wave. Okay. So I guess for now, all I have to do is go through waves. Hmm. Oh well. It gives me gold, so I guess I, I'll do it. It's not like it's that hard. I'm sorry if I'm very quiet. I just have nothing to really talk about. <laughs> because what is there to talk about in a tower defense game? All you do is defend your tower and that's it. And all you do is sit there and spam the level button. But, yeah, I'm most likely going to be sitting here, like, going through waves, getting high levels in between episodes, and during the episodes, I'm going to be trying to get as far as I can on the hill thing, and try and get the little towns developed, and that's about it. And that way you guys can see how well my defense does against crap for now. Even though my defense is crap at the moment, but it will get better later. I wonder how long this video has been going on for. About 20 minutes. What did I end the other video at? About 23 minutes. Uh -huh. So, I guess if I'm going to keep these around 20 minutes, then... To end this off, I will be doing this. Infinite Frozen freezes all monsters for 15 seconds. Resets heroes' cooldowns. Heal MPHP. Kills all monsters. Castle defense is okay, cool. So if you so choose to, you can easily just sit here and pile everyone up in one area and use the kill all function. And then everything would die. But still it's not hard to accomplish normally. Get some guys out there. Slowly kill them all. Slowly kill them all. 
Summon more guys to defend. And I am dead. I got 12,800. So that's slowly working. But yeah, hopefully by next episode I'm able to do this. 70 thing, and then I'll do like the 80 and as many of these as I possibly can. I'll do the 70 over here. I'll look through these and then I'll do them as best as I can. Oh yeah, that's the skill ones. This is the treasure ones. And this is the hero ones. Considering there's only two heroes. If I remember correctly. Wow. So there's that one person. This map is so huge. Like honestly, this will be like a couple hundred videos. Just make sure I need to complete these. <laughs> ah, yay! There's the other person. Two hundred. Is in the Black Sea. Currently, I have two. And develop that one. Okay, that's at level thirteen. Yay! So now every 60 seconds I get 1,108 gold, so that's good. And then the, I have 2 out of 389 captured. So, hmm, I'll slowly work towards the 389 captured, which will take forever, but oh well. I guess that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I will see you next time. Bye!